Hello everybody, welcome. In this video guys, we are gonna show my Phytium build. I finally got a 2 star uh, upgrade on him yesterday actually. So we got uh, some extra HP and I think it's worth to show him right now. It's still not my best build because my accessories on the lizard man still uh, not that great. But I can talk about him right now. So as you guys know, uh, obviously he have a resist aura. That's what uh, he make me really excited because of my resist team. I was using Viter for a long time. I just kick her guys on my squad. I'm not using her anymore, uh, which is I replace it with the Phytum, which is amazing. So I give him faultless defense. Uh, so we are getting like 5000 HP on the two star upgrade. And if we manage to get a four star upgrade, extra resistance and uh, another additional HP. Actually, I actually love faultless defense on the resist champion. Obviously, we cannot give them ship guys if the, you resist the enemy team uh, stripper gonna be wasted you know so let's talk about the gear we have a four stones skin guys and the one fortitude set so that's my current set we have a one reaction sadly don't have a better reaction so only one reaction this is how is the stat looks like 94k hp uh, 5000 coming from the blessing 3.3k defense defense a little bit low need to be tweaked a little uh, again 253 speed 752 resistance uh minimum re resistance i recommend it you guys unless you are going top 100 platinum uh definitely 800 which is uh, i'm using his aura so we have a 800 810 resistance actually his aura give us 60 anything below than that gonna be very risky guys especially like but uh from this resistance i can clearly say this resist is very enough for the gold for takti marana okay it's also enough for the gold 5 uh, pl uh, class karana earlier platinum maybe you know there is still people uh, have like insane accuracy on these days but usually people are not building their champion in uh, high accuracy anymore they are making like more go second races warlord you may go kaimar you know but anyway that's my build right now guys we see his mugs let me show you his masteries uh, we have a nice resist masters there with some uh, additional HP with the Terminator boost. And rest of the, my champion, we have a Duchess there, guys. Sadly, I don't have a great stone skin, so she's not stone skin at the moment. We have one reaction here as well. We have a 414 to uh, protection, and this is all that looks like 100k HP, 3.6k uh, defense, 243 speed, 760 resistance. Even the master is uh, my that you say favorite Chris. My Chris also resistance guys. Chris master is there. And Chris uh, not in the stone skin too. We have one fortitude, two stone skin, two resistance piece, one reaction. That's my Chris looks like. And my EP champion is Kendo from guys. Kendo from Savage Cruel. Uh, we have a two revenge, one reaction on him. And his master is. And this is the his that is a all of the champion are two star guys. So my Chris touches and the uh, fight and getting 5000 HP from two star and the front getting 500 uh, attack from two star. He have a lightning catch, lightning catch. Let me let me show you uh, quickly what they can do. Uh, obviously, like we are going to try to find a CC team or warlord yumeko team to show them uh show the resistance you know so oh i'm really fast like okay compare them i'm really fast this battle gonna take some time because ultimate that night in uh don't skin thankfully he's only once okay we break it anyway all right so good thing about this team guys, we basically have a two block debuff champion with the Duchess and Phyton together. And the two revive, this is very good. And Phyton at the initial can heal with the A1, which is not bad heal. Obviously it's not heal like a Viter. But Phyton have a 3 return cooldown guys, like so you can even use the Phyton in the Hydra tunes. Like I tried to use the Phyton yesterday actually on my Brutal team, then I switched to my Alva. But the reason of that, my Alva is 290 speed. Like if you have a like, 3 turn cooldown cleanser, 290 speed, or close to 300 speed, I would like to say, 
You guys don't even need a Shamal or anything. Okay, I cannot make my fight on that fast at the moment. Uh, let's try this thing. There is a Warlord. Let's see, are we gonna able to resist him? You guys don't even need a Warlord. Uh, my bad. Uh, what happened there? Oh, it's a stone skin. We're probably gonna resist. Him. Yep. See that, guys? Triple resist. Actually, even my candle from resist. But that must be triple percent. Obviously, killing this team also gonna take some time. Candle run. Force affinity. That's just spirit. So. Nice uh, survive there, Necret. But yeah, you can uh, if you guys make him close to 300 speed, fight him. You guys don't even worry about the resist on him, to be honest, like, because he's gonna keep cleans it, guys. Which is gonna be amazing. And he's gonna keep heal from the A1 skill, so. Especially if you guys have, a, like, one copy of the, your champion, I would recommend that resistance to you. Because resistance can be worked. Even the PvE content, you know, like... Uh, obviously, like, if I get one more Duchess or one more fight, you know, maybe I will try to build them a little bit slower, you know, with the... More defensive, more HP, stuff like that. But I don't have more copy, guys, so I have to use uh, my only copy, and I prefer that way. So, Duchess just revived the, uh, my Krisk. But the thing is, guys, like, uh, fight you and also have a revive, so just revive the candle from. We got a loss of the buff there, but wasn't enough uh, to keep the, obviously, from the candle from A1. I wonder if that's got our cooldown already. No, not yet, okay. Yeah, this candle from really strong. Really, really strong. I hope we can able to cast early protection now. Oh, such. Oh, he buffed himself. Okay, okay. No, he didn't. Okay, we survived, guys. We survived from this AU attack. That was good. Okay, enemy Dutch is about to die. Oh, we got early protection. Early protection really, really important, guys. Like, it's a teleprotection. This team cannot survive that long. One weak attack. Oof. That hurt. That really hurt. Okay. Did that, guys? We are resistance with no problem. Okay, Dutch just died from Brimstone. Hey, I love to do that. Fight and died. It's okay, we will survive. We will survive. Okay, it's getting close actually, but we will survive. Oof! That was, that was close. Come on, Dutch. Okay, Dutch got teleprotection. Kendall from not gonna kill him. There we go, our squad is back. This Necret did lots of the AL attack, by the way, so far, like, since the beginning of the fight. If Duchess die, guys, there's a fight on to save us. Alright, finally. There we go. It took a very long time. Okay. I prefer to not attack the Duchess team with this team, because I don't have a better uh, Reviver. I mean, better DPS, but yeah. Oh, this team is looking good. Standard uh, bomb team, let's see. Let's see their accuracy. Nice debuff for me, man. Nice silly pro. Oh, clean skies. Oh, one more block debuff if you need it. <laughs> and alien protection, and they are gone. Very simple. Let's try that one. There is a Mortuma Cup as well, let's see. Mortuma Cup with the Madame series can be actually problem because people usually build madame says like that thankfully she's fast enough that's good also is a two stone skin too it's gonna be a little bit of a problem really more to gonna be problem there guys because uh spirit affinity But we will survive from the peril from Mortuma Cup on this team. Ele Protection actually gonna survive us, keep us alive, I mean. But obviously, like, okay, Chris cast it again. That was good. This Mortu super slow. Veil is important against the Mortuma Cup because you want him to uh, target your Duchess, not Kendofron, because he got the extra turn there. 
he managed to attack the Kendofron. Obviously, Ali Protection not gonna protect Kendofron, guys, but it's alright. Chris gonna do crit attack there. Let's keep continue. Lady Kime. Hmm. I mean, let's give a shot. We probably cannot resist that, but I don't think they can kill us with the red. Okay, we resist that. This Warlord must be very, 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 very low accuracy. Oh, guys, look at the, look at our bomb. Look at our bomb, guys. Oh, cleanse. Oh, gone. Actually, surprise the red have a more accuracy than the Warlord. <laughs> I'm gonna choose the reviver there because Kendafron skill on the cooldown. Probably not gonna focus it. Teams like that usually I bring in my Mitrail against them instead of the Krisk. Right, it's over. Let's try that one. Plus one status. I'm our warlord. Nice couple. Let's choose the reviver again. Let's see the accuracy. Resist. Okay. This warlord quite have a nice accuracy. Let's see. Are we going to survive? Let's just resist. Rest of my champion didn't resist though. So we don't have a crisp protection at the moment. Going to be tough. Oh. Reviver already dead. Alright. I like it. Obviously, guys, this is not only resistance thing. Obviously, compared to the pure HP teams, yeah, my HP quite a low, but still, uh, I have a loss of the decent survivability, yeah, right? It's not easy to kill that team that easy, you know, like, that's what I'm saying. Obviously, yeah, I'm not gonna attack plus four Dutchess guys with this team. Let's try that one, Madame Trana. Double revive. Good green there, good green guys, good green. Team green. Below it. Cleanse veil, alien protection. There we go. It's gonna be hard to kill us now. Yep. Nice sweep berry, nice sweep berry. We finish this uh, arbiter really quickly. Race, QR the killer. Oh, he survived. It's okay. Even she revived, we are gonna be fine, guys. It's just gonna take some time to kill this one. I'm just gonna focus my A1 now. I don't think she revived me one more time. There we go. Okay. One more Warlord team, Valkyrie. Let's go, guys. Let's see this uh, Warlord accuracy. Hmm, quite high. Let's just resist again. Maybe 3%, I don't know. But Reviver dead already, guys. Sage. For them. Bad moment for them. Counter-attack. Kinder from counter-attack. I'm dead. Full. Like uh, you guys see right there. It's also hurt my Krisk. We are Gucci. We are Gucci. Revive. Okay, now we can take on the Duchess back to back. Okay, fighting got his cooldown. Boom, done. Let's try more fight. Last two can offer on Neck Red Warlord. Let's go. I think I'm gonna choose the Warlord there. Don't skin. Let's see his accuracy. No, no accuracy. Able to cast my skill. It's a plus two can of run. Warlord already dead. Vanilla attack. Let's choose the Necret now. We want to kill him next. Nice, nice, nice. Fighting got turn already, guys. Our team always have a block debuff, by the way. There we go. 42 seconds. Uh, Randa. Mortgage. Weird. Never seen Mortgage before in the area, not gonna lie. 
300 the Reviver. Warlord Accuracy. Barely enough for the Chris, I guess, which is Chris my lowest HP. I mean, a lowest resistance compared to the rest of my champion. Give it 20 less. Div Perry is okay. We don't have any protection shot. Oh, never mind. He resist. So without any protection, Tranda can really hurt uh, Duchess guys, actually. Even with daily protection, you guys see that. The reviver is dead. Okay, Tran is dead. Let's kill the Warlord now. So, you can use this team against the Hegemon, Tormin, Warlord, Yumeko. Uh, yeah, like against almost everything, guys. So, I mean, even the defensive team you can use it, but fight gonna be take long time, you know. Like I don't know. Obviously, this is not my platinum push team. This is maybe defense team can be work, okay? But yeah, come on, be ant already. Fights are taking so long. Okay, I want to show you guys as much as more fight, but. Okay. Oh, hold on. We have a free thing. All right, there we go. Let's end it with this one. We never attacked Yumeko today, right? Yumeko Karma together. Valkyrie is the DPS. Let's go. Use the Sifi. Nice, nice green guys. Team green, team green. One more team green guys. Let's go. Nice, Reviver's already dead. Let's focus the cooldown reset champion now. GG guys. GG. Hopefully this team can give you guys some idea about the resistance. How is the resistance teams are working. Again, I highly recommend it minimum 800 resistance. Especially on the... Platinum beginning level and the gold for tag team arena. It's enough guys, okay? But anything less than that is noticeable. I mean, you cannot resist that. If you cannot resist that, it's gonna be useless to win. You should be with your champion, maybe very high HP and uh, high speed, which is what I'm using on my uh, Alva right now. This uh, showcase also coming soon. Let me tease you guys a little bit. This is that I have right now on her, which is amazing. Stone skin as well. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. See you guys on the next time.